Hello there and welcome to this tutorial. This is a quick DaVinci Resolve tutorial. This is how I like to use film emulation LUTs. We've all been here, I've got some Blackmagic RAW footage. Um, I whack on the Blackmagic LUT. Doesn't that look lovely straight out the camera? I've got an exposure node before that just to bring it down before the LUT. I've got a contrast node after the LUT. I've got a little bit of color boost and I've got some mid detail and that looks absolutely lovely. But I think to myself, I'd like to just put on a film emulation LUT. Well, the way you're meant to do that, if you follow the correct instructions, is to go to your effects and you get a color space transform. And I want to set the output gamma to Cineon Film Log. And then I'll make another node after that and I'll go to the LUT and I'll go to Film Looks and pick, let's say, the 709 Kodak D65. Now it looks completely different. It's all overexposed. The colors look lovely, but it's completely overexposed from what it was before. Um, and I have found myself in a situation where I want the color change, but I don't want the exposure change. Well, here's how you can get around that. So I'm going to take those two nodes there. I'm going to get rid of this uh, color space transform for now. That's what it looks like without the color space transform. Um, but that doesn't matter. So I'm going to do option P on my Mac and I'm going to run a parallel node with it at the moment. That's not doing anything, but I'm going to right click this mixer node here and go morph into layer mixer node. And then I'm going to change the composite mode to luminosity. So here's how we're going to test what's actually happening with the LUT. So I'm going to get a simpty color bar there. So you can see that at the moment the color space is completely linear. But if we put a LUT on it, so um, if I just make some nodes here, you can see here with the luminosity, it actually uh, curves it, which adds some contrast. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a parallel node, morph into layer mixer node, and then I'm going to mix these together with luminosity. And now the luma line is no longer a curve it's a straight line which is what we want but you've still got the color change so if i was to turn this on and off you can see you've got the color change but if you do that on your footage you end up not blowing out your image like here you can just keep the color change without uh, changing any of the luminosity so i can go to the key here and the key output i can change from one that's what it was and that's what it now is, maybe 0.7. So that's uh, how I like to use film LUTs. Uh, see you in another video.